Okay, Tracy Ann, here is Zeus. And he likes to hang his little tongue out. He is just a cutie pie. This is your big boy. This guy weighed in last night at three pounds. He is the biggest of the bunch. And he is nice and black. Yet and again, he's getting a little mask, which is nice. And, uh, you know, the, there is his little mask. He's very calm, very good. He's still a little, uh, you know, awkward on his back. But that'll change. You know, and so we're just working with him, working with him. I do a lot of rubbing the paws. And if you want to do that, one of the things that's recommended is that you rub the paws with a Q-tip. And massage the paws with a Q-tip. That's one of the things that's recommend it and um you know just it's better to keep him in this position in your arms than to uh do it like on a bed or something because you want him to end up trusting you and willing to you know lay there and relax that's the whole point see how his legs are relaxing a little bit now He's getting a little more. See those rear legs? You know, they get uncrumping. If I move, he's going to stiffen up again. He's, uh, these toenails are like razor blades right now. And they have just been cut a million times. You have no idea. It's like I'm cutting a little bit off every single day because in one day it goes back into a razor blade again. But he's a really good boy. And uh, let's see here. As you can see, he's a little boy. He's not a girl, you know, and uh, sometimes it's hard to tell because this blends in with this hair here, and then it's shaved off, but there's usually a little tuft of hair there. So, you know, sometimes we can, um, for a minute, mistake a uh, girl for a boy or vice versa or whatever because of the way the hair is. Yeah, you're such a good boy. He's a good boy. He's like praying. He says, I want my Naya, Jordan, Tracy, Ollie. I'm praying for them to take me home. <laughs> there he is. Yes, he's a good boy. So they're just four weeks old. Not a lot of personality yet. Just starting to walk. Just starting to eat. Not too much happening. Other than, you know, just, you know, lay, laying and and relaxing, you know, a little bit of play, but not too much. But he's got a beautiful head. Ears, ears lay right. Does not look like his ears are going to go up. Nice ears, nice coloring, nice black and silver. Uh, just, uh, and these are some of the things that I'm showing you here when you get him home. You know, don't ever stop. I still massage my big dog's paws. Because if you go to work on these toenails and the paws, you want, see now I'm actually applying pressure. You want them to be allow you to hold that leg, that foot, because you got to cut all the hair uh, underneath the paw, back in here, and in between. So you want, and even if you're not the one that's going to do it, you don't want it to be a traumatic experience when he goes to the vet, I mean, not the vet, the groomer, you want the groomer to be able to work with him easily and them coming home and saying, oh, my God, what a great, great, great puppy. You know, he's so good on the grooming table. So part of that is your job to make sure that he is. So there you go. There's your Zeus. God bless you all. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Naya. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Tracy. And... Bye from this over and out. <laughs>